is vector u defined by components 5 minus 3, 2 in the null of matrix A, where A is a 3 by 3 matrix defined as going across the rows 5, 21, 19, 13, 23, 2, and 8, 14, 1. All right, so to determine if vector u is in the null of matrix A, we simply need to check the product. So we need to check that matrix A times vector u is equal to the zero vector. So we find the product of matrix A times vector u. So we have 5, 21, 19, then 13, 23, 2, 8, 14, 1. And this is being multiplied by this vector u here, 5 minus 3, 2. And what we're hoping to find or we're questioning, is this going to be equal to the zero vector? So let's make sure we'll give ourselves plenty of room here. And we are applying the row column rule. So by the row column rule, matrix A times vector U. So we have the first row times that column vector U. So I have 5, 21, 19, multiplied by 5, negative 3, 2. Next, the second row is 13, 23, 2, multiplied by that vector u, 5 minus 3, 2. And last but not least, we have 8, 14, 1, multiplied by that last column, or the same column vector u, 5, negative 3, 2. And then applying that dot product here, I'm going to give myself plenty of room. So, let's see. We have 5 times 5 is 25, minus 21 times 3 gives us minus 63, plus 2 times 19 is 38. And then the second row, we have 5 times 13, which is 65, minus 3 times 23 is negative 20, or excuse me, negative 69, plus 2 times 2 is 4. And last but not least, we have 8 times 5 is 40, minus 3 times 14 gives us a minus 42, and then 2 times 1 is 2. And when we add these up, we see the first row is 0, the second row is 0, and our third row is zero. So we're left with the zero vector. So we can make our final conclusion. Therefore, since matrix A times vector U does in fact equal the zero vector, matrix or vector U defined by the components 5, negative 3, 2 is in the null of matrix A. And this is our beautiful final answer.